Howdy folks, I'm your host, the Rogue Star K-17, and I don't have enough time to explain. We gotta get straight into it. I finished the wall today, it should hold them off for a while, I hope. Tomorrow I better look for survivors and something better to protect myself with. I have to get through the night first. Alright, so, we gotta stay behind the barricade, we gotta take out the zombies before they get close. Oh god, there's so many of them. Get back! Shoot him in the head. Oh my god, they don't stop. Okay. So this is the last stand. It's a zombie game, a flash game. And in this game, you have to defend from zombies in the nighttime and keep them from destroying the barricade. And then in the daytime, you have 12 hours to repair the barricade, search for weapons, and survivors. You can lose survivors when you're looking for weapons and survivors. And the amount that you repair per hour is dependent on how many survivors you have. You can get different weapons. There's a lot to get into. So let's not waste another second. Let's fire right off. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hold out until I get more survivors. And I'm just gonna go six and six. Please. Oh, I found one and then I lost him. Are you serious? So. Well, it worked fairly well. It didn't fall down on its own, is what I mean. They're still just as slow as the others I've seen. Don't seem to make the jump to get over the wall. That area didn't count as on the screen, that's why I wasn't shooting. Oh god. There's a lot of them. There's no way I'm gonna get a decent amount repaired. Alright, so I went back and I got some help. Or. <clears throat> okay, so I went back and I did it again so that I would get another survivor. And I also have the Magnum now, so I'm at the same level that I just was. And I got the Magnum this time and a helper because I wanted this playthrough to, you know, show off the stuff that I wanted to, uh, you guys to be able to see. You know, we need to be able to survive. So, let's check out our diary here. Just like on TV, I'm shooting them in the head like the TV said. Seems to stop them quick enough. They don't have an explanation for what's happening, though. Yeah. yeah we're just chilling in the bunker. Now we're about to hop behind the barricade and mow down some zombies. So whatever you guys got going on around you right now, forget about all that, because we're here now. You're with the rogue, and we're in the bunker. We're about to kill some zombies, so let's do it. We're about to see what this revolver can do. Come on now. Whew, all right. It's just me and old dude. Just mowing him down. That revolver is really nice, though. Two tap him in the head. There right, we go. All right. Let's see. Nope, didn't find anybody else. So just the two of us. Looks like we got some maps and stuff down here. Nice little workshop. Cop killer. Killed a cop today. Not sure how I feel about that. All's fair, I guess. He dropped a revolver that might come in handy, though. 
I still need more hands around here to get anything done. I should look for more survivors in the morning. Yeah. <sighs> you know, guys, I was worried you hadn't received my message that you wouldn't be able to meet me here. I'm glad to see that you all made it all right. Uh, and that we're all safe here in the bunker. I'm not sure how long we'll have to last here, but we should be fine. All right. Something is controlling me. I like how they got this over here. It's like, we're the virus controlling the player. Whoa, mind twist. Okay. Come on, come on. That is a nice weapon. Oh, yeah, and that cop that uh, my character pointed out a little earlier... That cop drops a revolver no matter what. So if once you get to that level, and there are other levels like that where certain levels give certain guns regardless of what guns you've collected. And you collect the guns in a certain order regardless. So sometimes it's better to get the gun early. Sometimes it's better to save for it. Alright. We do need to repair the barricade. Go. Still no more survivors. It's just me and old dude. At least I got the M45 now, but damn, I really could use some more survivors. Alright, we got this. That was like a reporter guy. And there's another news person. And they're rolling it deep this time. It's a good thing I got this on 45. I'd be screwed if I only had the revolver right now. Whew, all right. They're getting more and more difficult. Found another survivor, thank God. This just in. Pretty sure I topped the local ro roving reporter. Wonder if I'll make the news tonight. <laughs> nice. Did I miss a night's nice diary? I hope not. Alright, come on. Mow them down, mow them down. Man, the fat zombies are really, really, really annoying. America's going to be a difficult place to survive in a zombie apocalypse. With all these mini-bosses walking around. There we go. Uh, we found two and lost one, so we found another another one. And we, found, and we got the shotgun. Nice, because the dude dropped the shotgun. Awesome, the biker guy. Fat farm. These fat bastards are all over. <laughs> he just said something about it. These fat bastards are all over the place. They seem to take way more punishment than the others. 
Need something with a bit more kick to finish them off. Oh yeah, and we just picked up the shotgun too. Oh yeah. I definitely need a better machine gun than this. Searching can be dangerous. Very true. Uh, at least we evened out there. What do we got? Now the fatties are running. Great. Now the fatties are running. Great. <laughs> Day eight. All right. Whew. All right. Well, we got the ump forty-five, and we got the shotgun, and we we got a good little baseline going here in our. Uh, in our little workshop, and we're just chilling, and I think that that's where I'm going to call this episode, because I'd like to have this be a little multi-part series. This is one of my favorite Flash games. I played it a lot as a kid, and I had a lot of fun making the little skit for this, and um, just playing along with it, and I can't wait to be back at it again in the next episode. I'm having a lot of fun. I posted Dark Souls earlier. I can't wait to play some more Dark Souls. Um, I'm having a lot of fun recording again lately, and uh, that's why I wanted to play another Flash games because I haven't done any since like my Halloween Flash games, and that's too far. That's too far back. I need to be playing these more often. I love these games, and I want to be showing them off more. I guess I just wanted the channel to be, I don't know, doing a bit better before I started showing them off, so that more people would get to see them. But these videos will always be up here for anybody to watch them at any point in time. So I'm gonna start playing my favorite games regardless. And for anyone who stumbled across this video, I do hope that it was worth the watch. If it was, please leave a like, consider subscribing, and I'll see any of you in the next episode. Peace!